Um, in this video, I'm going to be doing this week's plan with me. Um, I'm using this week this lovely autumnal kit from La Petite Paula. Um, this is basically going to be my only autumn spread this year. I just completely forgot in like the end of September to use any, apart from one actually. <laughs> And uh, yeah, then I devoted all of October basically to Halloween. And then next week is, you know, the end of November and I've got a particular kit planned for next week. And then it's going to be, before I know it, it's going to be December. So anyway, this is my proper, only proper autumnal spread. So this is what the kit looks like. Just flick through there. I bought this off the lovely Paola when I met her and roomed with her at the UKPA Big Meet. So there's all the lovely stickers there. And I've also just got a couple of other autumn sheets that I've got. This actually came in her um, autumn subscription box. Um, just things that I've wanted to use. And basically, this is my last chance. So, yes. Also, very exciting. I'm trying out some new inserts this week. Um, you've probably seen, if you've seen my other plan with me, is that I use my own inserts. And these are the same. Um, and before, my boxes have been almost Erin Condren size and by almost you think I couldn't get them as wide and they were a little bit taller as well I was fiddling around on my computer and I just thought I'd give it a go and I've made these just about fit on A5 paper the exact width of Erin Condren boxes as you see the edge line does get cut off on each side there is nothing I've tried constantly to do something about that there's nothing I can do so what I will do instead is make this line on the left edge invisible as well just because I think it will look a little bit better if they sort of flow like that and obviously when they get punched the punches will go in those boxes but that happens with people who cut normal EC planners into their um uncoil them and put them into their planners so you know it's not too far off it may go hor horribly wrong we will see but I'm just and giving it a go. So as usual, I will shut up and come back to you in a bit.
here is the final result. Um, my inserts had a small problem and they're not quite wide enough. They're like a millimeter or two off. Now I did set them to the size of EC boxes width, um, which is, I can't remember off hand what it is now, but I did set them to that size, but obviously the computer's automatic formatting has done something. So they're slightly off. So either I need to do some fiddling or just deal with it. I don't really mind to be honest, but maybe when I can be bothered I'll do some fiddling around. But I do quite like that I didn't have to do so much trimming down, which was great. Um, so big thing this week is I've got a tattoo on Thursday. My sisters and I are getting a matching tattoo. Um, so we're all getting together and doing that. Actually one can't make it, but she's gonna have hers done on the same day up north. She can't get down south for it, but so yeah, there's four of us. <laughs> and then I've got results coming in on Monday, I need to do a meal plan on Tuesday desperately and absolutely driving licence needs renewed and need to do that. So you see there's lots of bold things to do this week, I really really need to get my act together. Um, one, one sticker I didn't use from the kit was this Hello Autumn one from the kit because I just felt a bit ridiculous putting one in one that said Hello Autumn when it really should be saying goodbye autumn so i used this which was just from a sampler sheet instead which is a very very pretty sticker i think so yeah i'm quite happy with that um yeah if you have any questions please let me know but otherwise thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video bye <music>